During the recent Senior Open Championship at Sunningdale, we caught up with a man regarded as one of the greatest putters in the history of the game. Lauren Roberts was dubbed the boss of the moss when he played on the PGA Tour, where he won eight times, and success has continued on the Champions Tour with 13 more titles, including four majors. Smooth stroke, it's aggressive though. Oh, my word. I've always felt like your putting style kind of has to fit the way you, you hit the ball. If you're if you're a right to left player, then you're going to be kind of an arc player. You know, you're going to release the toe on it. If you're if you're a fader like I am, you're going to kind of work the heel through and always try to keep the face square to the line. So, I think guys that putt the same way they play the rest of the game, I think probably have a little easier time putting. Lauren Roberts and putting using the putter because he's one of the best in the business. Zach Johnson's always been a good putter, and um, you look at Jordan Spieth coming up, you know, he's a great putter. And I, and I will say, you know, for a lot of years, probably the two best putters that I saw under, I mean, Greg Norman used to be a great driver of the golf ball, but I'll tell you, when uh, Tiger Woods first came out, those first 10 or 15 years, I mean, if he had a putt for par that he had to have, he made it every time. Didn't look like missing it, did he? Right in the center of the hole. He was just fabulous if, he, if it was a putt he had to have. Roberts came close to winning regular majors with eight top tens, notably finishing second at the US Open in 1994 and third at the Masters in 2000. He played Ryder Cup in 1995, securing three points. One of the most successful players still competing regularly on the Champions Tour, Roberts is now 60. You know, Bernard Langer's kind of turning the clock back there a little bit for uh, senior golf. But, um, you know, I, I just think uh, the golf courses aren't quite as long for us on the Champions Tour. They are getting longer now. Uh, so many guys hit it so far now that they're, they're coming out. Guys are playing the regular tour and, until the day they turn 50 and coming out here. So, um, but I think the course has been a little bit shorter and probably put a little bit more emphasis on the putter you know and, and obviously that was always I always felt was the strong part of my game arms fairly straight tall fella but over six foot draws it back pushes it through and he's one of the best these guys still want to win just as bad as they did when they were young but you know it kind of unlike the young guys now, after we get out, we give it all we got on the golf course. It's kind of like, okay, it's, uh, let's go in the clubhouse and have a beer. You know, we're, we're, we're not going to go talk to our shrink and go to, we're, go to the workout trailer and stuff, you know. <laughs> Whilst it's not the only factor to win tournaments on the Champions Tour, you need to putt well. And Lauren knows that when he's putting well, he'll challenge. If I get the putter hot, I've got a chance. And... It seems to me in a lot of the major championships, uh, you're just going to have to make a few putts for pars now and then. And obviously, we just witnessed it this past week at the Open Champion in St. Andrews. I mean, you, the putts for pars are so key down the stretch. And uh, I think that my, my putter's been my, my whole career has really kind of kept me in there. Well, bearing that in mind, what we wonder would give Lauren the most satisfaction. Would it be to nail a long iron and see it nestle close to the pin? Or would it be holding a monster putt? Nothing makes me feel better than to take a take a three iron out and hit it 215 yards here at the uh, at the 15th hole par three and knock it to two feet. That would be the ultimate for me. Being able to hit a three iron good, not make a 30 foot putt, you know. <laughs>